In several previous videos, you've learned about time signatures and note and rest values. Now let's look at how to count these rhythms. There are multiple systems and methods used for counting rhythms. Today, we'll use numbers. Counting rhythms involves your knowledge of time signatures and note values. When we count rhythms, we aren't reciting how many beats each note is worth. Rather, it's place in the measure. Let's use the 4-4 time signature first as an example. We know that there are four beats per measure and the quarter note gets one beat. So for demonstration purposes, we will show one 4-4 measure like this. Each of those boxes represents one beat. Since the quarter note is worth one beat, we can assign one quarter note per box, or per beat. We count their place in time, so we can count this rhythm one, two, three, four. Let's think about some of our other note values. A half note is worth two beats, so it's the equivalent of two boxes. A whole note is four beats, so it would fill all four boxes. Notice that when we count, we only say the beat on which the note first begins. One, three, one. An eighth note is worth half a beat, so we can fit two into a box or into a beat. To divide the beat, we count using ands. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Similarly, 16th notes divide the beat into 4, so we count using e and a. 1 e and a, 2 e and a, 3 e and a, 4 e and a. Let's look at some examples. 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1, 3, 4. 1 e and a 2 and 3, 4. 1, 4. The concept is the same for 6, 8, only our time signature and note values are different. We know that there are 6 beats per measure and the 8th note gets 1 beat. So for demonstration purposes, we will show 1, 6, 8 measure like this. Each of these boxes represent one beat. Since the eighth note is worth one beat, we can assign one eighth note per box or per beat. We count their place in time, so we can count this rhythm one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's think about some of our other note values. A quarter note is worth two beats, so it's the equivalent of two boxes. A dotted quarter note is three beats, so it would fill three boxes. A dotted half note is six beats, so it would fill all six. Notice that when we count, we only say the beat on which the note first begins. A sixteenth note is worth half a beat, so we can fit two into a box or beat. To divide the beat, we count using ands. Join us in another video for practice rhythms and rhythm dictation.